What is going on guys, Gray here today. I'd like to give my review of the High Isles chapter here on console. I'm not a big fan of doing reviews. I mainly like to kind of give my, you know, kind of feelings towards something, talk about the things I like and don't like. I don't really like to tell someone to go out to buy it or not to buy it. I'm more of, like I said, just kind of tell you what I think about something and kind of like you make the choice for, you know, yourself. I've been playing the Elder Scrolls for a really long time here on console for about seven years now, uh, six and a half. So uh, when it comes to, you know, this kind of, of playing, I wouldn't call myself an expert in the game by any means. But when it comes to, you know, playing all the different content over the years, you know, I have a good feel of, you know, what I've liked and what I don't like, you know, over the past six and a half, seven years. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. When it comes to story and voice acting for the High Isles chapter, I always give Zoss props for voice acting. They always get some great voice actors. All the characters are really uh, unique when it comes to the, you know, the way they sound, the way, you know, interact with them. But when it comes to the story itself, I felt like it was a bit short for the main storyline. Now, if you add in all the side quests and stuff, you're probably going to get 20 to 30 hours of content. But I felt like just the main storyline was a bit short to me. I'm, I'm not sure what it was, but it just did not feel like it's been, it was as long as some of the, you know, chapter stories we've had in the past. And I also felt like the story was just a bit flat this year. Not saying that it was bad by any means, but I think Personally, for me, I, ha I enjoyed some of the other stories from the past few years, uh, you know, of the big chapter. So I felt like some of the past story chapters were a bit better. Uh, I felt like this was just a bit flat. It wasn't quite as enjoyable for me personally. Of course, that's just my opinion. Some people may really like it. And that is perfectly fine. Like I said, I don't think it's a bad story. I just felt like it was not as good personally for me as some of the uh, past few years have been. Now, when it comes to some things that were added in, Besides just story content, of course, you know, we have a new trial, which is, is very enjoyable. If you're a Trials fan, we have new mythics to go after and, and, you know, look for. A lot of people like, you know, anything that has to deal with antiquities, mythics, and stuff like that. So that's a lot of content there as well. We have new gear sets uh, from the Trials, new gear sets you can craft, and also tons of new furniture. So if you're a fan of furniture, if you're a fan of Trials, if you're a fan of, of looking for new mythics, if you're a fan of, you know, just anything with antiquities, there's definitely a lot of content within the High Isles chapters. I think all that's really good. When it comes to some other things that were added in, we did not get, you know, any new classes this year. And I think a lot of people were disappointed with that, even though I talked about that in the video several, several months back before the chapter even released. I didn't think we were going to get a new class. I don't know if Zoska is going to really do new classes every two years like they had in the past. I think that may be a thing right now that they've kind of put on the back burner. So we may see a class every three or four years. Who knows? We'll kind of have to wait and see. But the one new thing they added this year that's kind of split, whether the community likes it or not, is the new card game called Tales of Tribute. A lot of people out there like different card games, you know, that have, you know, been out for years, and a lot of people like those. A lot of people have never really played those type games, and they really enjoy Tales of Tribute, but it seems like the community either, either really loves Tales of Tribute or just really does not like it whatsoever. The people that do not like Tales of Tribute feel like, feel like that the High Isles chapter is lacking in content for the price. For me personally, I think Tales of Tribute is fun and enjoyable. I'm not a person that absolutely loves it. I don't hate it. I'm just kind of in between. I'm not a lot. I'm not like a lot of people in the community where it seems like they either really like it or they really don't. I'm just kind of in between. It is an enjoyable thing. It's not something that I play nonstop. But when I do play, I do have a good time playing Tales of Tribute. Now, if you're a PvP fan, there's not a lot of content, of course, once again, for PvP players. Update 34 was definitely lacking in PvP content. Update 35, apparently, uh, according to what Alzos has talked about, is going to be a big PvP update. Hopefully, we'll get some of those new server fixes, uh, the new servers, all that stuff they've talked about over the last few years on console and, of course, on PC. But if you're only a PvP fan, there was not a lot of you know stuff for PvP players in this High Isles chapter. Kind of overall, I think... Zoss did a good job for the most part with the High Isles chapter. I think a lot of people kind of feel like I do. That year-long story adventure is getting a bit familiar. I'm not sure if everyone that plays now, and I'm sure there's a lot of new players, of course, you know, that come to the game year after year. They're kind of used to this year-long story arc. You know, the DLC was handled differently in the past. We used to get four smaller DLCs throughout the year before Zoss kind of got on the idea of doing the year-long story arc. I have talked about it in other videos uh, that I have made. I know other content creators have talked about it. Should Zoss kind of go away from this year-long story idea? I'm not sure if they necessarily have to go away from this idea. I mean, I, 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 would mind, I wouldn't mind to see them swap some things up. 
I just feel like they're sticking with what works, and that's a good thing in a lot of ways, but it's also a bad thing in some different ways as well. And I think overall, Zoss, in my opinion, the story this year was just not quite on par with some of the past year stories, and that may be just because I didn't like it as much as I like some of the others. Some of the other stories interested me more, where this one didn't interest me as much. But I think as a whole, the High Isles chapter is very enjoyable if you're a fan of the Elder Scrolls Online. But leave me a comment. Let me know what, your pl what platform you're playing on if you've been enjoying the High Isles chapter. Also, leave me a comment and let me know if you're kind of on the same, uh, kind of thinking like I am, I guess, kind of the same idea that I'm having about, you know, everything feeling a bit too familiar now with the story uh, DLC or the story, year-long story DLC that we've been, you know, kind of getting over the last several years. Would you like to see some changes uh, kind of to go away from that completely or would you like to see Zoss kind of mix it up with that year long story arc if they decide to kind of continue with this going forward anyway of course if you like the video hit the like if you hadn't subscribed yet please do so and I'll catch you next time peace